Hello, my name is Jonathan Lloyd at the International Apostolic House of Prayer, broadcasting through the House of Acts radio at Nashville, Georgia. Today, I'll be giving a little bit of a lesson entitled, What Kind of Tree Are You? Now, as a landscaper and a gardener, I do occasionally incorporate a tree or two in my design. And one of my favorite trees to use is the palm tree. I'm sure many of you know what a palm tree looks like. You've seen them. They're tall, slender trunks, and their stately, long fronds give you the idea of paradise on earth. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's also a comparison to be used that people can be like palm trees. And we especially as Christians are the palms. And here's why. Like the palm tree, the palm tree has roots that in comparison are small to the com in comparison to the height of the tree. However, just like with our faith, however small, it anchors that tree into the ground so that even under a category four hurricane, that tree will still stand. Now we as Christians, we withstand much more than that palm tree. Even in the storms of life, our faith, even if it's just small, will keep us from falling over. You also have some people, even Christians, who are like the oak tree. They're big, beautiful, stately, you can't miss it. You know it's there. It provides shade over everything. Its roots stretch far and wide in search of water. But the roots are also very shallow, and the tree is easily pushed over by a wind as, as little as 45 to 50 miles per hour can push over an oak tree. In my view, a lot of people are that way too. Even as Christians, we can be like the oak trees, we appear to be bold and beautiful, glorious. We, we are doing so well to the world that everyone flocks to us for the shade and comfort that we provide. But because our roots are not as deeply rooted as those of the palm tree, whenever the storms of life come our way, it knocks us down. And we're unable to get back up from it. Now, a palm tree, it gets knocked around by the wind, too. The storms can come by and tear that tree to pieces, but as long as that root system stays rooted in the ground, the palm tree can regrow. And it will grow back, and it will be stronger than it was before, because those fresh new fronds are able to flex even more in the wind than the old ones did. And the flowers, they come out all the sweeter, providing even better fruit than before. And in, to me, we are like the palm tree and flower. The flowers represent when we are sharing the gospel with other people. Because the gospel is supposed to be something sweet and good. Something everybody wants to be drawn to. Like the bees to the flowers. But I think too often we're not like those sweet-smelling flowers. We're more like the flowers of, say, an oak tree. Not a whole lot of insects will go to them because they don't have the same fragrance. They don't, they're not, it represents the gospel not being shared in the right way, in a way that attracts people. Too many people, they make these false judgments and statements which turn people away from it. But the palm trees have the sweet-smelling flowers that attract all kinds of insects. Even bats and birds love it. I want to be like that. How about you? And after those flowers comes the fruit, which to me symbolize the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible talks about the fruit of the Spirit, which is listed in the book of Galatians. I'm not exactly sure the verse at the moment, but when I find it, I'll share it with you. And 
We need to be like that. We need to bear that fruit, that good fruit. Because if we don't, then people won't be drawn to it. It's kind of like when you have a date palm. When it bears fruit, if the fruit is good, the people will go to it, and they'll pick it, and they'll be able to share it with other people. But if the fruit's no good, then why would they want to share it? So I want to be like that and bear the good fruit. And I want to withstand even the fiercest of storms that life can throw at me. So I'll leave you with this, that if you're going to be the tree in the garden of the Lord, be the palm tree, because it provides great shade and bears the f good fruit, as well as sharing the sweet gospel of Jesus Christ with the world. Thank you all. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, and may the Lord bless you wherever you are.